Hi guys and welcome to Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles. I picked up this game a while ago and I debated maybe doing a let's try on it, but I figure why not jump in and do a series on it, because I think some of you folks might be interested in it. So we'll just dive in and play a new game. I'm actually playing with keyboard and mouse because I tried to plug in my controller today. It makes all my USB ports fail. So I thought, okay, let's uh, avoid that and just use keyboard and mouse and hopefully it works out. The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance otherwise known as the Empire. In the West, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival, and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the East when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. Its vast military superiority struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Prologue. Gallia to arms. Okay, a new episode has been added. I wasn't sure whether I could start talking there, but okay. Got it. So, a meeting. Um, yeah, so we've been through that one. I guess we'll dive into a meeting. So there are going to be a lot of cutscenes in this, I have been told. Um, so I guess we'll just enjoy watching them. <laughs> Cause, yeah, it'll be fun. View this episode, yes, yes please. March, 1935, outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Whoa. Already? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? I've decided I like him based on the fact he was talking to these fish. Freeze! Ooh. Put your hands in the air. Slowly. But he was just drawing some fish. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin. And you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Brule Town Watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melchiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. 
I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right, then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Oh, don't blame the fish. That's just rude. Oh, that's why I get for saying I liked him because he was drawing the fish. Um, so the Imperial attack. So I imagine there's going to be a few cutscenes here before we get into the actual gameplay. Um, I hope you don't mind that I will occasionally talk over them, just because I have a lot of thoughts and I like to throw them out there. View this episode. Bugs and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. <laughs> Welks? Is that you? Isara. Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait... Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Oh no. Everyone keep your heads down. Over there. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. That's not good. <gasps> Damn it. That's really not good. Welkin. You can handle a gun, right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. Awesome. Okay, so another new episode has been added. I just want to apologize if you can hear my downstairs neighbors hammering and sawing and whatever else they're going to be doing today. I plan today as a massive recording day for like several hours I was planning on recording. And of course that decides to coincide with the fact that my downstairs neighbors are doing renovations still. And so it may pick up on the microphone and hopefully I can get a lot of it out during editing. Uh, about saving the game. Open the menu by pressing the F button, then select save to record your progress to the Steam Cloud and hard disk drive. Saving is a good idea before, during and after any combat uh, OP. Anything can happen out there, or operation it should be instead of OP. But um, that sounds like an idea, let's save. Did I save it? I don't know. I hope I saved it. I'm very confused by keyboard. That is the space bar, right? I saved it, okay. Um, so I guess we're at Encounter at Bro. No, wrong button. I know buttons. Yes, I want to be it. Okay, here's the plan. Okay. We've got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Bro. We'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Our, obju objective? Our objective here is to eliminate all enemies. Uh, let's take care of them one at a time nice and easy. So for 
Our victory condition is all enemies are defeated. Failure conditions are welcome dies, Alicia dies, and or 20 turns pass. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. I can't make promises in the staying calm, but I can or the getting it done part actually. It's one or the other with me. So we're in the player phase just now. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. I like Alicia. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. Yeah, I mean I'm kind of out of my depth here, so please do. Okay, about command points. When combat starts, you'll see a map of the area in your unit's positions. This is referred to as command mode. Here you'll select the unit you'd like to move based on their position respect to the the enemy and then press the space bar. Doing so uses up one of the command points displayed at the top of the screen. They reflect your ability as a commander and represent the number of times you can give instructions to, i.e. control, uh, your units per each player phase. In this battle you have three CP, so you can issue instructions to your units up to three times. Let's try moving a unit now. So how do I, okay. How do I move them? That's a good question. Here we go. No, no. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> About action points. Use a uh, CP to select the unit in command mode and you'll be plunged into action mode. Here you can freely move the unit you selected around the field. Okay, that's interesting. As you move around in action mode, the action points gauge at the bottom of the screen will gradually deplete. This represents that unit's mobility. Once it reaches zero, the unit will be unable to move any further. Keeping an eye on the unit's remaining action points while they're in motion is critical to keeping them safe. For now, use the WSAD to move the unit near the sandbags. Okay. I'm coming! I'm coming! About attacking. Press the E button to enter target mode. There the unit will prepare to attack their currently selected weapon. Use WSAD to move the crosshairs onto an enemy or the Q and E buttons to snap between targets. Enemies will not attack while you're in target mode, so take your time to aim well before pressing spacebar to fire. Your shots will land somewhere within the circle surrounding the crosshairs, so it's best to center on the entire target. Somewhere within the circle surrounding the crosshairs. Shots to the head or other weak points will result in greater damage. A unit can only attack from target mode up to once per action, so choose wisely before you open fire. If the target survives your attack, they may then launch a counter-attack. A damaged unit may not have the hit points to survive the enemy's counter, so be careful when planning your attack. Crap. Um, crouch. Target mode. I sort of want the head. Okay, no, that's a bit... Okay, we'll just shoot him in the bum then, cuz... I pressed the wrong button. I want, yeah. So you can't really fine tune this on the, the keyboard and mouse. So we'll just shoot him in the back. Nah, did nothing. Oh, that was bad. I mean, it did something, but um, I feel like I, I really would have wanted to go for the head there. So about ending actions. A unit with zero remaining AP that has already performed an attack in target mode is unable to act further. Press escape to end their current action. This will return you to command mode where you'll be able to select the next unit you wish to direct. You can press escape and end the unit's action even if they have not attacked and still have action points. Oh. Can I not hide? Um... Yo, no thank you. No thank you. Um, so yeah. How do I... I did read the things. I'll just have him back here. Just because I don't like the thought of him being shot at. Um, so I think maybe this time we might bring Alicia down. I'm going to try using her. Oh, don't you dare shoot at me, my friend. Oh, okay, so I can fine tune that a lot more with the mouse. Um, now. I want to aim for your head. Boom! Oh, 
apologies. I was uh, celebrating with a hot chocolate there. All right. So we have more people over here. Um, put her somewhere. About using cover. When standing near sandbags, the command Croucho appear. Press space to take cover behind him. While hiding behind cover, units are harder to target, take less damage, and are immune to headshots and critical damage. Meanwhile, units caught out in the open by enemy attacks will be easier to hit and could take significantly more damage. Advance carefully, moving from cover to cover, and always try to end your action safely, hidden from harm. Doing so should keep your troops alive long enough to secure victory for Gallia. Can't hide behind that. Oh crap, crap, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Uh, I guess I'll just stand here then. I may have messed that one up. Um, so if I use her again, will she have action points? I guess we'll find out. I feel like that was explained to me. Okay, yeah, she does. Now target mode. I've had enough of your shit. There's another one over here. I want to get into a good position though if I want to take them. Crouch. Um, don't have any action points to target just now. So, end the current action. Although... Okay, about ending the phase. When your CP reaches zero, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. One player slash enemy phase pair constitutes a single turn. The fewer turns you complete a mission in, the more cash and experience you'll receive at the end, but being too hasty can lead to unnecessary risks. The key is to find a challenging balance. Um, sure, we'll end the current phase. So I want to bring that guy down further, and maybe the guy that I've left behind as well. Try and push forward a lot more. So it's player phase now, so it looks as if this is just like our last enemy anyway. Um, when used well, even a limited pool of CP can take out a significant number of foes. CP can be used on the same unit multiple times. For instance, a pool of 3 CP can be used to move one unit 3 times in a row. Perfect for cutting into enemy lines or hurrying past dangerous terrain. That said, people get tired. They'll start each consecutive action with fewer AP than the last, so keep that in mind. If you use the cancel button to end your phase with CP still remaining, those CP will be carried over to the next turn. CP are a precious resource. How you choose to manage them will decide your fate. Okay, well... I want to use her again. Target mode. And then... Boom! Operation complete. I don't see any more of them. So we get a combat report at the end. Uh, base results and clear bonus. So we B rank, basically. Um, we've got 80 experience points for base results. Uh, 120 for clear bonus. Oh, I could have done better. But now we know. Now we know. And a new episode has been added, but we will get to that in the next part, where we'll be watching A Hilltop Promise. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm curious if you guys are going to be interested in this series. Uh, I'm certainly looking forward to doing this series, actually. I think it's got a mix of things that will keep a wide variety of you interested. At least that's the hope anyway. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having an amazing day and I love you all. Bye!